Hello everyone and welcome back to Lick Library. My name is Lee Fuge and today we're going to talk about five different ways that Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath changed the way that you play the guitar. In this video we're going to be talking about a few things that Tony Iommi has done through his playing career with Black Sabbath and beyond and just basic habits that he's kind of introduced into the guitar spectrum. These ideas are going to be completely conceptual and they're basically things that Tony Iommi introduced into the guitar world and they've kind of become part of the modern rock and metal players guitar vocabulary. All of the five things that I talk about are timestamped down below in the description. So if you want to fast forward to a specific one, you can go and check that out. We're going to be talking about power chord riffs with some groove using the flat five note and a few other cool things that Tony has brought to the table in his years as a guitar player. So I'm actually going to kick off with the thing that I just mentioned, which is using the flat five interval. Now the flat five is a really tricky interval to use outside of rock and metal because of its sound. So this is a note known as a diminished note. It basically sounds like a wrong note. It actually clashes with the root note of a key. So let's say we're playing a G power chord, like you heard me play in the intro there. That's made up of three notes, the root, the fifth, and then an octave of the root. These three notes together give us a power chord or a fifth chord, and this is something that our years in the West are really tuned into. We like that distance between the root and the fifth. We're really attuned to that interval being a good interval. If we flatten that fifth, we get a flat five or a diminished note. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Instantly that kind of puts you back up a bit. It's not the nicest sounding chord. Now you heard me play that in the intro there from the song Black Sabbath where you play the G power chord, the octave, and then the flat five and you hammer it on back and forth to the five. That kind of creates this tension and resolve thing where you've got the tension of the flat five and then we resolve it back to the five but we keep going back and forth between the two. So in modern metal music, this is a note that a lot of people use, especially in some of the sludgy and more doomy styles of music. Diminished notes can come up quite a lot. They're a great way for just kind of creating some tension in a riff. So let's say we're playing in the key of A, and I'm going to be using an A power chord here on the fifth fret of the low E string. I can throw in that flat five diminished note in a Tony Iommi way to create some tension inside of my riff. Tony Iommi also taught us that if we want to make music a little bit fatter sounding and a bit sludgier, we can play all our power chords rooted off the low E string. So what you will see in a lot of Sabbath riffs, especially those with higher pitched power chords, is that Iommi will always play them rooted on the low E string. So let's take a song like Paranoid, for instance. Now, most people, when they learn Paranoid, they'll play it from the seventh fret of the A string, like so. <laughs> But where Iommi actually plays it is from the 12th fret of the E string. Now even though the pitches of the notes are the same, I'm still playing these two notes in that power chord. You can hear there's a tonal difference. The ones that are rooted off the low E string are just slightly more bass heavy and almost a little bit fuzzier. So when you see Iommi playing his signature riffs like Paranoid, like NIB, or Iron Man, You'll notice they're always rooted off that low E string just to give it a bit more sludge. Iommi also pretty much invented heavy metal guitar. Now even though Sabbath started as a blues rock band in the early days, Iommi was pretty quick to get into some of the more evil sounds. So we've got this entire spectrum of heavy metal that happens in the first 10 years of the band's career. From their first album where he was giving us things like the riff from Black Sabbath with that flat five. <laughs> 
through to the mid to late 70s where he was coming up with riffs like Symptom of the Universe. Iommi pretty much set the bar for what became heavy metal guitar. Now, if we go forward to the 80s and look at bands like Metallica and Iron Maiden, a lot of what Iommi set up in the 70s is used by those bands, especially that last riff, because you can hear what kind of became the early stages of 80s heavy metal. So if you look at bands like Metallica, for instance, a lot of their early riffs were a root note played very fast with some power chords thrown in and out. The riff from Symptom of the Universe could easily be one of the very first thrash metal riffs ever written. Even though Iommi was sort of credited with inventing heavy metal guitar, he did come from a blues background, and he did also teach us that it's okay to play pentatonic licks inside heavy metal music. We could take any of those classic Iommi riffs, from NIB to Paranoid, where he's playing these very kind of driving riffs. But his lead playing has always very much been rooted in more of a bluesy style, so he's very at home in the minor pentatonic scale. So just because you're playing heavy metal or hard rock, don't be afraid of your minor pentatonic licks. That's definitely a big thing that Iommi helped us see. And the final thing I'm going to talk about is how he always played slow riffs. Now, when we think of heavy metal, we go straight into those fast gallops or fast kind of thrash riffs. But you can play really heavy riffs slowly, like Iommi often did. We've got all these classic riffs that are not really that fast to play. If we take the riff from Black Sabbath again to go back to that flat five. <laughs> You can see how little I'm actually playing there. I'm playing a G5 power chord, the G note on the fifth fret of the D string, and then the flat five, which is the fourth fret on the A string, and then I'm just doing an hammer on pull off trill here. So I'm really only picking three different things. It's slow, but it's effective. Iron Man is a great example again. Just super sludgy, really heavy, but it's not that fast. So Iommi also taught us that we can slow down a little bit as well. So there are five ways that I think Tony Iommi changed the way that you play guitar. What do you think? Are there any ways that Tony Iommi has influenced you or changed the way that you play guitar? Let us know what you think he's brought to the popular guitar culture by throwing it down below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, let me know down below in the comments what Iommi tricks and tips you think he's brought to the guitar world that we might have missed off this video. Don't forget to check out the Lick Library YouTube channel for more videos just like this. There's plenty of free content on there with different guitar player style videos. There's also a video on there of me reacting to five classic Tony Iommi riffs. So check that out as well and let me know in that video what your favorite Sabbath riffs are. If you're looking to take your guitar playing to that next level, head over to licklibrary.com, check that out and access the lesson library. There's a huge array of content there that will make you a better guitar player in no time. Everything from simple lessons through to more advanced album and song breakdowns and all sorts of other cool stuff. Thank you guys as always for checking this out and I'll see you guys very soon.